What's up YouTube, Dow here from Zephyr War Games, and I'm joined by Joe as well. Hello, hello. We are going to do, so we thought, why the hell not? We were going to bring you an opening of the Sacred Beast structure deck, but you know, something happened. What we're going to do today instead is take you through some brand new cards, and I'm not going to tell you the last two because it, 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 each one we're going to do gets better and better. So we're going to start off straightforward dive in headfirst into the datascape um new art type so this is all coming out in uh phantom chaos is it phantom chaos or phantom rage uh phantom rage phantom rage yeah, so this is the one that also exactly this is the one that also brings us support for uh phantom knights as well we've got the new rank art the new um dark rebellion xyz as well uh so it is going to get awesome uh and literally one card was revealed today and i was like all right, I'm buying this set. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm getting this set no matter what. So I'm going to let Joe take you through the datascapes. So Joe, take us through what we have here. So the datascapes or what they initially called um, the cyberspace archetype. Uh, they are, a lot of people like them for the psychic aspect, but they're actually all over the place in terms of like some of the monsters. Some of them are psychic, some of them are worms and so on and so forth, which is very interesting. Um, so the primarily focus around uh, synchros and XCs, which I think is really good. I like to see the old summoning mechanics being used. Um, so we got the data scape lady, uh, Ruby Ruby. So she's a level three wind psychic tuner effect monster with 1600 attack and 600 events. And you can use this card's name first effect. Uh, no, just effects once per turn. She's got one effect only. So, if this card is in your hand, you can target one datascape card you control. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except level 3 slash rank 3 or higher monsters. Also, send one datascape card that is a different card type, monster spell or trap, from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do that, special summon this card. Then you can add one datascape card that is a different card type from the target and the card sent to the graveyard from your deck to your hand. Very wordy, very interesting. Um, it's like you've got to go through tons of hoops just to get a search, but it's very unique. I really do like it. Uh, so you've got her, then you've got the Datascape Savant uh, Lao Lao. So he's a level six wind psychic tuner effect monster with zero attack and 2400 defense. You can use this card's names effects once per turn each. If this card's in your hand, you can target a datascape card in control. You cannot spread some monsters for the rest of the sun except level 3 or rank 3 or higher monsters. Also, send one datascape card. There's a different card type, monster spell or trap, than this card in your deck to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card, then you can special summon from your graveyard one datascape monster with a different name than the card you sent to the graveyard in the friend's position, but negate its effects. So again, similar hoops. But you get to revive a card. Very cool. Uh, level six. It's very interesting. Gets you going to your rank six and uh, higher level synchro plays. Then we have Datascape Z Z Z <laughs> Like very weird name. I think this is all like Chinese based, which is really cool. So he's a Earth Worm uh, effect monster, with level three, a thousand attack, and sixteen hundred defense. Curious his card's name effect once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can target a data scape card you control. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn, except level 3 and rank 3 or higher monsters. Also, send one data scape card with a different card type, monsters, but a trap from that card from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card, also during the end phase of this turn, you can add a data scape monster from your graveyard to your hand, except this card. So, again, you get to you get recurrence. It's a shame it is at the end phase. So I guess with the speed that the other two give you, it'd be a bit crazy if you just get it back straight away. And then the last of the monsters we have the main deck monsters, Datascape, uh, Clean Lin Lin, level six Earth Worm effect monster, 1800 attack and 600 defense. Can use this casting effect once per turn. I believe it's got the same similar thing. So you target a Datascape card you control. You're locked into level three or rank three hires for the rest of the turn. Send a data skip card with a different card type, monster spell trap from deck to grave. And if you do, special summon this card. 
Then you can send my data scan card as a different card type uh, from the target and send to the grave deck from the deck to the graveyard, except clean lin. So it's additional send, which is very interesting. So next we have the Synchro Monster, which is a level nine, which is Data Escape Box Xin Zhang, or I think Zhang Zhang. I think. Weird, weird. I can't read it. <laughs> level nine Wind Psychic Synchro Effect Monster with 2800 attack and 2400 defense. So he just takes a tuner and one or more non tuners, which is nice, it's very generic. Can use this card's name first, uh, second, and third effects once per turn each. First effect, any card sent to the graveyard. From the field is banished instead, so we've got a little mini Dark Lord going on here, it's very, very nice. When a monster you control declares an attack, you can return one of each banished monsters. Interesting. And then during your main phase, except during the turn, this graveyard can ban with different original type and attribute from the graveyard, and special on this card from the graveyard. So I believe, Joe. yes, yep. Joe, yeah, it can be played in Dark Magicians. Well, oh, I can play it in it, Dark Magician. How do you play so, it? How so if it? if if I build, it's generic. You can play it in whatever you want. Uh -huh. So if the v, if the VFD Jet Synchron play is still around, yeah, this is another level nine that you can make that is a Dark Lord, like you said. Yeah, but. It also gives you the additional effects. You can return each one of each banished monsters. So I can use the Law of Darkness and put Dark Magician back into the grave. Uh huh. Ooh. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not, it, obviously, that's not the main reason you're going to no. do it for. <laughs> it's nice to get another generic level nine that only requires two. Um, and it is a bit of a beefy with 2800, yeah. but I think it's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. I, I liked it just because I was thinking, ooh. Mini Dark Claw in Red Dragon Archery because just <laughs> just tune up Red Dragon Archery into this <laughs> like that's not bad but no yeah, no I like I love it how sequels is all becoming generic now like no more limitations to the materials you have it just opens up so much I like this yeah that's cool and then we have the rank three Data Escape Show uh, Jai Jai weird. So we have, um, so it's again rank 3 Earthworm effect exceeds with a thousand attack and 2400 defense. And materials is just 2 plus level 3 monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card and then target one face up monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by battle until the end of your opponent's turn. It's a shame that's not a quick effect, but at least it lasts until two turns. So that's good. And then once per turn, after damage calculation, if this card battled an opponent's monster and there are two or more monsters with the same original type and attribute in your graveyard, you can banish that opponent's monster. Interesting. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Good little uh, monster removal there. Um, next, we have the Datascape Phoenix Fang Fang. This is a rank 6 Earthworm Xyz effect monster, 2600 attack and 2000 defense. Two plus level six monsters. Um, so you can only use this card's name second effect once per turn. First effect is once per turn, you can attach two materials from this card, then target one face up card your opponent controls, and one card in either graveyard and banish them. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. And if this exceeds some card is destroyed by an opponent's attacking monster's attack or by an opponent's card effect, you can special some two day escape monsters with the same original type and attribute from your deck. Um, does it say um, no, not, not the same names? No, nope. good. So we've got a little bit of easy effect going on there. I like that. Next, we have the normal spell card, Day to Escape Capital Jing uh, Zhu Long. I find this so weird because it's a capital and the artwork depicts it as kind of like a fuel spell, but it's a normal spell card. <laughs> so it's a bit weird, but AO. You can only activate one card as card's name per turn. Place one data escape gate card directly from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone. Then apply the following effects in sequence based on how many data escape gates you control. Two or more data escape monsters you control gain 200 attack for the rest of the turn. Nice little buff. Um, three or more, so the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard, the, the deck does like to mill. 
And then four for, uh, if you have four, special summon up to four data escape monsters with different names from your extra deck. I like that. They, they were just like, okay, so the new ones summon four from their extra deck. Let's do the same. I like it. It's good. Next, we have the data escape Kling Long. So it's a continuous spell. Um, you can only use this card's name first and second effects once per turn. You can banish one data escape card from your graveyard and target one face up monster on the field, negate its effects until the end of this turn. And then, second effect, you can banish this card from the graveyard, add one data escape monster from your deck to your hand, and then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Interesting. I like that. And then, for the last, we have the data escape gate. Uh, GQ, continuous trap card. You can only use this card saying first and second effects once per turn each. First effect, you can target one face up card in the field, shuffle two of your banished data escape cards with different names into the deck, then destroy that card. Nice little board removal while also occurring. And then during the main phase, you can banish this card from graveyard, then target one data escape card so you control. Have it either gain or lose three levels slash ranks. Pretty cool. You can rank up your rank three to rank six can we get some rank up synergy there that could be pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> well that kind of synergizes with the uh the new um dark rebellion xyz's and phantom knights on that kind of level yeah i mean they got so much and this set already like it's revealed one art type support previously for uas and i was like i'm buying this set and then a car two cards it's revealed today i'm like oh my god these are broken like I want these right now. <laughs> so, um, that being well, said... One small bit of knowledge there. The reason why they've changed the name from Cyberspace to Datascape is because if they kept it as Cyberspace, the spells and traps would be called Cyberspace Gate and Cyberspace whatever, which then means Cyber Dragon Core could, in theory, search them. <laughs> <laughs> that would, I'm not going to lie, that would have been pretty bloody cool. <laughs> Imagine that. Go Cyber Dragon Course, search the cyberspace gate. Like, you'd, gate. you'd have like a level one searcher for anything you want. Yeah. <laughs> so, the next one we've got. Uh, oh, God, I don't even know where to start. This one just started the day off amazingly. So, this is a new Nephesis monster. So, it's called Tefa of Nephis. Uh, you can ritual summon this card with Rebirth of Nephis. Um, you can only use each effect of Tefa of Nephis once per turn. If this card is ritual summoned, you can special summon one Nephis monster from your hand or deck except itself. Now, that's kind of cool, but it's what they already do. The next part, this is treated as a ritual summon. Blew my mind. Like, absolutely just went... <laughs> I was like... So the whole deck special summons a lot of stuff, but it can't special summon its own ritual monsters, and it's a ritual deck. And now you're giving me a card that says, if you ritual summon this card, you're also going to get another one from the deck that's going to count as a ritual summon. I was like... Oh my god! I, I think they saw that people liked the how the mega lifts essentially count themselves as ritual spells. I'm like, let's get Nephesis it, but they can do it's, it from the deck. <laughs> it's about bloody time. And after, like, if this card is destroyed or tributed by a Nephis card, like not Nephis monster. So if you tribute it for rebirth of the Nephis, you can destroy up to um, during one. the next standby phase, you can destroy up to one Nephis card in your hand, deck, or field. In your deck. So I can destroy the main Nephis Eagle in my deck and get an effect. It's you like... You get to do one from each. <laughs> you get three pops, if I'm reading Oh my god. Yeah, because it's, it's a, uh, during fun. the next standby phase, destroy up to one Nephis card in your hand, yeah. deck, and field. <laughs> Except ritual monsters. Oh my god. So you can pop two rituals, two of the rituals, and if you really wanted to go old school, you can pop the original Nephesis and get board wipes. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's except the ritual monsters, but it's just like, okay, cool, I'm just going to pop all of my effect monsters that I received yeah. in, uh, I think it's like Infinity Chases or something. I was like, all right, plus. Anyway. This one. This is the one. Like, th that's it. Nothing else matters after this. Like, I really don't care. Th th this set is being bought. Prank Kids! We finally got the Link Quad Prank Kids that we've been asking for for ages! 
<laughs> this deck, prank kids are incredibly fun to play. If you haven't played them, test them out online, all right? We had to wait. Okay, so we got the Prank Kids monsters, but we were missing Roxy's, which made the deck even better, and we had to wait till the special editions. We got that, and then we were like, do you know what's really, really missing in this deck? It really needs a Link 1 monster to get everything going, especially when Instant Fusion got reduced to 1. I was like, it really needs something. And then, today, they dropped this. So it is called Prank Kid Meow. One level four or lower, prank kids monster. Broken, that's it. Doesn't need an effect. That's it. That's all you need. Is it allows <laughs> you to black. use a single prank kid to then get the prank kids effect to then have two prank kids on board to then allow you to go into Bow Wow Bark, um, do 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 do, and Rocket Ride. But no, they actually said, we're going to give this card an effect as well. Once per turn. And you can only use the effect of prank kids meow once per turn. If you would tribute a Prank Kids monster to activate its own effect during your opponent's turn, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard instead. So, if I wanted to quick effect Wishy Washer, or if I wanted to quick effect, I think it's Bow Wow Bart that's the quick effect, which lets me add two cards back or special summon two cards, I can do it for free by banishing this now if it didn't have the clause of during your opponent's turn this would be broken because then you just go okay rocket ride <laughs> banish this card from graveyard instead give me back two monsters i now have three monsters to play with that this card is broken like for this deck incredible can, and we um, still send this from extra to grave with things like extra burial goods and just get the graveyard effect. Just to give you free monsters. Yeah. But what makes this even better is this is a brand new card. This is Prank Kids Meow. And I was over the past, I was like, we really what? want the dog to get his own single card. And instead they've given us a Prank Kids Cat. So it's like, you've opened up the art type. There's more that could be coming. Not that isn't, it needs it. This, this, this is the what they're missing. dog on the picture as well called Meow Meow. But yeah, no. Th th this this dog is this dog is throughout the entire one. This is the one with the prank. So basically, that dog sadly gets bullied by the prank kids. Like in every single one of the oh. artworks, it's always like the kids just picking on the dog, um, <laughs> and it's clear that they're doing it again because they've kind of manifested this cat to to show him attention, and he just doesn't have any of it. Yeah. Regardless, I don't care. This won it today. This 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 does it. Like the, uh, there's very few times, right? Where you play a fun art type and you're like, okay, this deck is missing this one card or this deck is missing this particular card. If we got, and you're thinking, it's like a fantasy. You're like, all right, cool. Well, if I could make the card, this is what it would do. Mm. Konami have literally on this card and the Nephis card gone, oh, well, that's exactly what they want. Let's give them exactly what they want. And I mean, it, it makes prank kids hell of a lot more playable now it makes nephesis playable a lot more now because you can ritual from the deck as well it's just so so good uh, and you can tell by my excitement that i am super super hyped about this card so definitely looking this, forward this set is going to be so good like yeah we, we've I, only I seen like it. four different art type kind of supports but it's great I, absolutely I not it like, Tons of boxes of this set. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm hoping, like, so I want the the Prank Kids Meow to be a super to fit in with the rest of the Prank Kids cards. If you make it a secret, all right, I'll be a little bit disappointed because it'll be a pain in the backside to get, He's but at least it'll fit in. in Japan. <laughs> and then um, the Nethys, I kind of want it to be secret so it matches with the rest of the rituals. But then again, because it's coming in a core set, I don't want it to be a pain to get hold of. Regardless, this set, UAs, FAs, Phantom Knights, Prank Kids, Nephis, like this set, just give us, keep giving us more legacy support. Like, keep it coming, because I absolutely love it, and I, I can't wait to, to see what, what else, else this set what drops. What else are they going to put in this set? <laughs> exactly. Like, so, anyway, guys. I love it. I love the sprinkle of one-off support cards and mainline sets. Like it's great to see whole art types, like just like five, six cards for a whole deck or something like that. But sometimes it's just nice to just get that one little card just for a random deck here and there. It's like here we go. Here's a nice little 
upgrade. He, here's a little boost that you've been waiting for for so, yeah. so long. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us today, guys. Like I said, we will be bringing you the uh, Sacred Beast budget deck, which is three of the structure decks put together to produce a competitive uh, and playable deck uh, and then joe on friday or maybe even saturday will also bring you the full powered version where you've got no budget restrictions you're making it as competitive and as powerful as possible and we'll show you exactly Great. what the deck can do but for now for this massive news uh kind of drop video uh, thanks for watching like comment subscribe share and as always guys happy dueling Venom Battle Gear, where you can pick up your very own limited edition print of our Yugi mat with Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, and Dark Magician of Chaos. Artwork is exclusively designed by Nixie Arts as well, so check out her link in the Instagram below. Pick it up for shipping worldwide.